when I came out to my mom as a gay man, I had to go to great lengths to convince her that being gay wasn't a stepping stone to becoming a woman. And she had it, she had it on good authority. She had it at some priest in Lima, where we, I grew up, Father Jose, had, had actually told her that, that this was the case. And she knew this because my mom used to go to a, the hairdressers down the street from her house, and the hairdresser was called Los Maricones. In English, it's the faggots. And that's what they called it, Dinos Cofur, but they were more known, also known as Los Maricones, the faggots. And uh, I think she had felt guilty that she was giving her money to this, the sinners, I guess, and so she went to Father Jose, and Father Jose, oh, no, 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 they're on their way to becoming women, so your money's actually helping them, and I think it was, because some of them, I, yeah, as, when I was growing up, I was looking at this, and started growing breasts and becoming women, and, and there was, you know, that's what they were into. Now, I wasn't into that at all, so I had to, you know, convince her and tell her no, and I'm not, no, I'm not a woman. I, 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 one day I had to say, I like it. I like it. I, I really, really like it. And so, and, um, so uh, she finally got it. She finally got it. And we used to go to Pride together. And um, she actually moved in 1995 to Church and Charles, just uh, st steps up from the buckle of the fruit belt. I mean, she, she was living in the gay village. And I'm not, but my mom was living there. So, and we used to go and enjoy Pride. And, uh, now, about three years before that, I started doing drag shows. And I created a character called Chabuca La Grande. Chabuca's a lot taller than me. She wears high heels. Chabuca sometimes wears short hair, sometimes long hair, so like the Elizabeth Taylor look. Most times it's like, ooh, a divine Miss M. She looks like Bette Midler sometimes. So she, nice, she wears nice frocks and uh, sometimes really tight, tight, the outfits and uh, and she does shows. She used to do shows on, on Church Street, and uh, so there's no way I was gonna tell my mom <laughs> living on Church Street. Oh, come to see my show! I'm a I'm a girl. No, there's no way I was gonna tell my mother after everything that I went through with her that now I am doing drag shows. Now my mom used to come come visit me, and Chabuca had ousted me from my closet. My closet was actually Chabuca. So there was wigs and there was frogs and there was makeup and there's a whole bunch of stuff in my house. And every time my mom came, it reminded me of when she used to come and visit me and my partner and I were not out there. So we had to separate the beds and like, you know, every different rooms and everything. And uh, I had to hide Chabuca in, in trunks and, you know, and, uh, and oh my God, smells like Chanel number no. five. Ooh, <laughs> what do I do? So I had to, you know, put all that away and, uh, so it was, it was probably 1995, and uh, my mom told me, I'm tired of pride. She was a hipster, and I'm tired of pride. Uh, I, uh, it's too big. And this is 1990, this is 20 years ago. Oh, it's far too big now. It's grown. It's, it's not a community event anymore. It's all lost. I'm not going. I'm going to go visit your sister in Whitby. And I said, oh, okay, good. good. I was so happy because I was going to come out as Chabuca on Pride, I was gonna march, and uh, I was invited actually to do a show on the North Stage. Now the North Stage, when Pride was small, was by the beer store across from the 519. So my partner was gonna dress up as Dame Edna, my friend David was gonna, um, Dame Edna Everett, yeah. Um, my friend David was gonna dress up as a French maid, and I was gonna go as Chabuca. And we were gonna be all glamorous, and, and then our, our friend Sean, who's a singer, said, uh, I'm actually singing at the North Stage. Why don't you come and become the Seanettes and sing, like, do shoe up the box behind me? And, and I said, oh, yeah, sure. So on that morning of Pride, we, uh, we went to my friend David's home on Mutual, and we dressed up. And we did the painful walk on pumps all the way up to Church Street, all the way to the North Stage, because he said, I'm, I'm going to be at the North Stage. And uh, we got to the 519, and there was no North Stage there. The North Stage had moved to Church and Charles near my mom's apartment. And William, as they met, says, oh, it's near your mom's. My mom's in Whitby, man. Don't worry about it. Like, you know, uh, take the gold train there. So we, uh, we got there, and there was Sean, and uh, he, did, he was going to perform three numbers. 
and we were going to be the Shonet. So we did. We got up on stage. We're all glamorous and, and having fun. And yeah, we did all this. We did all these songs with him. And, uh, and we had told him specifically that at the end, to introduce us as a Shonets, and also we gave him stage names. And I told him, introduce him as Chabuca La Grande. And so he was finished, and he said, yeah, yeah, thanks for everybody for coming. Oh, so great, great audience, you know, like, and the Shonets. And then he forgot our names, <laughs> our stage names. And so he said, David Bateman, William Zoe, Rico Rodriguez. Ah! And like, oh, well, whatever, he forgot it. Now, I was marching that afternoon with uh, a theater group that I was working with, some street-involved youth. I was marching with them, and so I had to get to the bottom of uh, Church Street, Church and Carlton, where they were waiting for me. And so I had to kind of leave the stage kind of rather quickly. And um, as I was going down the steps, holding William's hand, and we were both going down <laughs> in our high heels, there was a woman sitting, <laughs> standing there. She pulled out her sunglasses. And there's only one person in this world who does this. When she's mad at me. Uh, Rodriguez! <laughs> and that was my mom. <laughs> William disappeared with David. I don't know where they went. I fainted. <laughs> and she got me back and she says, and I looked at her and she looked at me and she started like, oh, oh. <laughs> You look better than your sisters. <laughs> oh, and I really like that, so I came back. <laughs> and I grabbed her hand and I said, I have to march, I have to, I'm late, let's go. So my mom and myself on our high heels walked down Church Street. <laughs> now on the way there, she looked at me and she said, you know, when you were in the womb, womb stories tonight, when you're in the womb, I thought I was gonna have a girl. <laughs> I said, oh, you had both, you had a boy and a girl. <laughs> And we kept walking, and then uh, she's, and just like I, the Chabuca one day said to me when I was hiding her, one day she's going to ask for the wig, the makeup, the this, the nails. And, uh, so, yeah, lo and behold, she started asking me, uh, can I borrow the wig sometime? <laughs> and then she said, oh, who did your, your makeup? And I said, I did it myself. Uh, can you do it for me? You're going to look like a drag queen, but like, besides the size of the queen. <laughs> oh, she says, no, it's so soft, and your features. Oh, I was so, so happy. And then... I used to perform, Chabuca used to perform at a window show um, on church in Wellesley uh, every Sunday. And um, so as we were going by, there's all these boys sitting there and they, they know me and ah, they started making a lot of noise and like, hey, how you doing, hey, Chabuca? And then one of them jumped out, got on his knees and he says, Chabuca, will you marry me? And my mom went up to him and said, boy, how much money do you have in your bank account? <laughs> and, um, she, she said, well, no, well, no. She pushed him out of the way, says, we have to march. So my mom and I marched, I walked all the way to where the people were waiting for me. And she got a set of maracas and we started dancing and William came and a lot of pictures were taken. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of Japanese people come and take pictures. <laughs> so I was, you know, all I, 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 there must be a whole photo album in Japan of my mom and William and I. <laughs> Both of us dressed up. Uh, as, and drag, and so we, we had a good time, and then the, the parade used to go down, um, Gerard, and, uh, or down, down church, across Gerard, and up Young, and uh, it's changed the trajectory now, but back then it did that, and so when we got to the corner of Gerard and church, my mom looked, oh, she said, look, St. Mike's is so close, I didn't realize. I, I, I took the subway, I can walk there from my house. <laughs> my God, St. Mike, I'm going to church. Look, it's like four o'clock, it's church. And in, in the past, when my mom, you know, say, I'm gonna go to church. I said, what, what are you gonna go to church for? And in the past, she would say, well, I'm gonna go pray for you. Maybe you change, you find a nice girl. And I, and I said, no, I said, like, you're not gonna go to church. Stay a pride, come on, dance. And she goes, no, 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 I'm, she said, I'm gonna go to church. And, um, and I said, but why are you going to church? And she said, I'm going to go to church today to thank God and to pray for you and all your friends that are here. And also, but most of all, I'm going to thank God for giving me the best of both worlds in you, a boy and a girl. Thank you. Aww.